We gon' get it crackin', get it poppin' on the flow. Okay. We gon' get it crackin', get it poppin' on the flow. We gon' get it crackin', get it poppin' on the flow. Hey. We gon' get it crackin', get it poppin' on the flow. Get it poppin' on the flow. Get it poppin' on the flow. Get it poppin', get it poppin', get it poppin' on the flow. Get it poppin' on the flow. Get it poppin' on the flow. Get it poppin', get it poppin', get it poppin' on the flow. I know I didn't respond to your text, but this is a little dramatic. My neighbors are gonna think I'm crazy. Jake's in the hospital. Get dressed. We're meeting Dane there. Wait, why? What's happened? I don't know exactly. Kendra said he just collapsed or something. She rode in the ambulance with him. Ambulance? All right, give me a minute. Wait, Jake was with Kendra when this happened? Yep. Wait, how do you know Kendra anyway? I told you, my firm worked with uh, Capital before, remember? And she called you? Well, she didn't know who else to call. I mean, she tried you first, but Mr. Man at the World turned his phone off. I said I'd grab you and meet them there. Wait, what about Kyle? I think it's best we wait till we know what's going on before we call him, right? I mean, especially with Kendra there. All right. Give me five minutes to get ready. Hey. Dr. Sullivan, I didn't know you were on tonight. Uh, I'm not actually a friend of mine. Jacob Ross has rushed in. Oh, yes. I'm also looking for uh, Kendra who came with him. Um, yes, she's right over there. And I'll go ask Dr. Shaw to come and talk to you about Mr. Ross. Okay, thank you. Kendra. Hi, I'm Dane. Oh, hi. Yeah, your friend Dane just got here. Any news? Oh, well, not yet. My attending Dr. Shaw is on her way out. She should be able to tell us something. Okay, Ben and Dalton are in a cab. Yeah? Okay. I've seen a few. They're pulling up. Hey, so how did Jake get the name Bix? <laughs> My mom got me one of those Rubik's cubes when we were kids. I was a bit of a nerd, but I couldn't figure that thing out. Jake did, though. So I started calling him Bix for short. Bix, <laughs> that's cool. <laughs> yeah. Hey, so what's going on? Dr. Sullivan. Kendra, what happened? What's going on? We're all freaking out here. Your friend suffered a cerebral aneurysm. It burst. Burst before he even got here, so. Bix came over tonight to talk. We were drinking wine and catching up. He started to feel nauseous, but I just thought it was the wine. You know there's not much we can do when that happens. We tried to resuscitate him, but we just weren't successful. That didn't make any sense, because we drink. I am so sorry, Dane. What's wrong? Your friend, Mr. Ross. Jake's dead. Wait. What, what, what's he talking about? He's dead, right? A fucking already popped in his brain. He's gone. Oh, fuck. I'm so sorry. Is there any uh, family you could contact? Uh, family? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take care of it. Oh, oh, wait, can we see him? Of course. Oh, shit. Kyle. Somebody's got to tell Kyle. Who's Kyle? Going to the ladies' room. Excuse me. Hey guys, this is uh, Mr. Ross's cell phone. Thought you might need it to get in touch with his relatives, but I am gonna need it back. 
And I wanted to introduce you to Mrs. Joanna Carter. She's our grief counselor here at the hospital. And once again, I am so sorry. Have you seen Dane? I'll see if I can find him. I am so sorry for your loss. I know this is a very difficult time for you and maybe not the best time to discuss this, so I'm going to leave these with you. These are pamphlets of counseling services connected to the hospital. My office number is there as well. We can discuss this when you are ready. Thank you. Peace, love, and light. <clears throat> That was weird. Look, Jake's last text to Kendra. Jesus. Friends are really worried about you. You should go back up. Did I ever tell you I had a twin brother? No. He was two minutes older than me. He was a great athlete. He stayed in trouble, so now how the girls liked him. Never did as good as I did in school, though. It's the complete opposite of me. But we were so close. He died when we were 15. It was a football practice in large part. That's what made you want to save lives. Jake. But he was like a brother to me. I had just moved to New York when I answered his ad for a roommate. As soon as I moved in, he started looking out for me. I mean, he knew the kind of trouble a small town boy could get into here. Jacob and Dane, Sullivan twins, had the same name. It feels like I've lost a brother all over again. got two more brothers in that waiting room who are really worried about you, sweetie. Go join them. Don't worry, I'll make sure you're not on the rotation for a while. I gotta get going. Life does go on despite death, and I have to be up in two hours. I have a client appearing, thank you, on the Today Show tomorrow. Today. I'll call you oh. tomorrow. Mwah. Today. <laughs> hey, I can give you a ride home. No, I'm fine. A hell of a night, huh? Thanks for the coffee. I'll see you. Sorry about what I said yesterday. It's just all this stuff with Drew and... I know. You're a good friend, Ben. I love to. There he is. Just had to, you know, clear my head. Hey, let's get out of here, right? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on, buddy, ladies first. 
Hey, you know what? At least now, whenever we get in a cab, we can all three sit in the back seat, right? All right, let's go eat. We'll all feel better, okay, gentlemen? You know, the sun will be up soon. Time to start a new day. Hey, and how'd it go with that boss you last night, huh? <laughs> I was coming out of my... Martin Luther said every man must do two things alone. He must do his own believing and his own dying. Throughout his life, Jacob Alexander Ross believed that life was worth being lived without apology, yet was worth being apologized to, if not fully lived. Today, with no apology necessary, Jake did his own dying. And I was thankful that I wasn't alone when I died laughing, remembering a friend over breakfast.